Yo, what's good with y'all gang? Gang, you already know what time it is, man. We back out here with some more Grand Theft Auto Online Zombie Survival, gang. And in this one, Brody, I just want to talk about the simple point of fact that I love when the Grand Theft Auto Online community come together for a common goal and we officially obliterate every type of goal that Rockstar or anybody set for us in this community, gang. I really do love that shit. So if you don't know what I'm talking about or confused on what I'm going on about, bro, GTA Online or Rockstar Games has put out 80 million or something, 800 million something zombie kills in this game over right here where the community as a collective, we have to go out our way and basically kill 800 million zombies. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's like 800 million though. We got to kill like collective 800 million zombies in this game mode by next week to get some rewards and stuff. And at this current time, we are at 200 million within like two-ish, three-ish days if you go to the Rockstar website and go check it out. So yeah, if you go to the Rockstar News while they got like this little click thing where you could click it and it tracks how many zombies we have killed over the course of this little challenge or whatever that we got in the community gang. And one thing, I, again, one thing I can say is big ups to y'all, man. Everybody that come out here and show love and like do these little challenges and stuff, I really do like love that, man. It just let us know that even though this community is sometimes very divided. We can all come together and do stuff for a common goal. Like y'all know when the heist challenges come out and any other challenge that Rockstar has ever done in the past. I can't think of every single one, but we always come out and we always end up obliterating the challenge, bro. It always end up just going the best way. Like the grinders, the tryhards, the car people. Like anytime there's something on the line and the community got to come together and make it happen, we do it, gang. And that's just a good ass feeling man at the end of the day people love to talk shit about GTA Online I know I love to talk shit about GTA Online even talk shit about the GTA Online community but at the end of the day we always come together we always make sure that we, we stick by each other when it matters most and that's just a good feeling overall man so let me know how many ways have y'all got in this damn thing y'all know I did end up completing this thing completely solo on stream like a day or two ago it took me like three tries well technically four but technically the very first time I played when I made my video i wasn't by myself right now i'm by myself i am solo dolo but i did complete it it took me three tries to complete it to be honest i low-key want to say it took me twice because the first time i died during the challenge i blew myself up so i'm gonna say three times because that's the technical number that it was three times but this is definitely doable solo by yourself but I will tell you this, this is one of the most challenging game modes Rockstar has ever made. But to me, it's one of the funnest, man. If you want like some tips and tricks on how to do it, then go watch somebody else, cause I ain't got nothing for you. Or you can go to my, my stream and you know, I tell you, you know, I tell people tips and tricks, you know what I'm saying, just talking about it like that. Is this a juggernaut it is? I got him. But yeah, this is one of my favorite game modes Rockstar has ever put in the game so far. I have been enjoying the crap out of this through and through. And this is, it's challenging, but really, really fun. I do want to know, right now I'm on like the endless waves. I'm just messing around while I talk about what I talk about. But at the end of the day, I really want to know like, what's the like highest amount of waves somebody has reached, whether it's a group of people or just a solo dolo person. I really want to know that. And I want to know how did they do it? Like I, I know a lot of YouTubers and stuff like that. I think GTA man dropped him a tips and tricks video to get to like higher waves somebody told me a couple of days ago that Tylerius now made it to like round 16 at the time I think that's the highest amount that he made it back then but I don't know I definitely want to get on stream on PlayStation and play with the gang and see how far we can go after we do round 10 I haven't played this at all on my PlayStation I'm waiting to go live so that's pretty much what that's going on but definitely on Monday night be on the lookout for it. we definitely gonna be cracking this out and seeing how far we we can make it in this dang on um, zombie survival and whatever like that. Like I said, I do got the looting dope outfit, so I did surpass it. I did make it past level 10 by myself completely solo. So I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back for that because it is challenging. But if you keep moving and just really understand the map and know where you can run and where you get stuck, you can pretty much do it. It ain't really that hard. It's hard, but it's doable. That's what I can say. It's difficult, but fair. That's how I would put it. But also, man, other little stuff going on in the world. Did y'all see? On, well, I seen this on Twitter, but did y'all see that um, Japan or somebody has officially made like sex 
Pets, dog, robot things, bro. It is wild what's going on in this world, bro. I literally seen this at work yesterday, just looking around Twitter and stuff like that. Y'all know I be on Twitter just messing around and stuff. And man, they actually got like these little like automatic dolls that get freaky. But I just want to know, why is it always Japan? Like, why is people out there in Japan hella horny all the time? Like, y'all some of the horniest people on earth. Like, what do y'all be doing? Y'all create everything. Y'all got the highest amount of like people on earth living in that country. And y'all just always so freaking horny. Like, what's up with y'all, gang? Like, it ain't that much freaky deaky time and ever in nowhere, bro, for y'all to be around this bad boy going out here and getting a sex doll. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You get you one of them, bro, you damn bad beasy. I don't care what you're talking about. You damn bad beasy. The crazy thing about it, bro, I seen a tweet. I seen like a tweet with a picture and it was gonna be like dating in the next couple of years and it was basically a woman sitting down kind of like a vagabond, a bum or whatever, if, if I would say, and she had like a sign and it was basically saying like, you know how men, you know how women be like, they want a man that's six foot, six pack abs and got six figures. And then it's a, so she basically sitting there with that sign up looking like, like I said, like a vagabond or whatever, if you will. And basically, <laughs> And basically, it's a dude walking past her with a female sex robot, happy as shit. I'm like, bro, what is this world coming to, gang? It's crazy. Like, just if that's going to be how the world works, because at the end of the day, that's down bad bees, if you ask me. Like, you going out your way to be with the sex bot? That's crazy work. I can't even lie to you, gang. Something else I've been seeing a lot of, I've been hearing a lot of, like, different streamers and content creators and just people on the internet talk about is the fact that people on the internet is really crazy crashing out in the bad way. Like, people is starting to overdo stuff on the internet. People is taking this internet thing a little bit too serious, according to a lot of people in this world, man. And I just want to tell y'all, bro, as a community, as just not even a community, as for the GT community, just as a community of people that just do stuff on the internet, whether you're streaming, content creation, making skits, whatever. Calm down. It's the internet. It's never that serious. Y'all is out here wild. People is out here crashing McLaren's. They is out here caring more about getting views than the average person or average health. It's a lot of creators that been going around, been getting exposed or whatever. Everybody claiming that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of big time creators, people that we've been watching for years and years and years and years, is starting to get on their downfall and all type of stuff, man. And it's just like, bro, relax, brody. Everybody calm down. It's just the internet. Don't get me wrong. I'm human too. And I'm not ashamed to show my humanity on stream and do my content or whatever like that. But at the end of the day, brody, it's real life levels to this shit, gang. You should never really be riding this bad but crashing out. You should never try to just do anything. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to hurt, harm, mislead, or do nothing just for the fuck of it, for viewership and shit like that. Like, y'all is really out here wild and crazy work, man. Like, the little, um, Little dude, the little streamer dude that end up crashing out or whatever, due to him crashing McLaren and stuff, man. People is riding this bad boy really like, I ain't gonna say they wish death on him, but people is like kind of mad or something that, that he didn't die or something like that. And this is just like, bro, what are we doing? At the end of the day, don't get me wrong, I'm a big believer in if you do some bad stuff or whatever, like if you, if you, if you, you know what I'm saying? Like if you deserve to die, you deserve to die. Like I ain't gonna be one of the people that be like, yo, a motherfucker don't deserve to die. You pretty shitty and you do some shitty shit and you deserve to get your, your shit, then, I'm all for that, but at the end of the day, I'm not wishing death on nobody. That, that ain't my ammo, gang. I don't even get down like that. Like, that's that's kind of crazy work to be just around this bad boy. Like, dang, he's still alive? That's crazy work, bro. Like, man, people is really taking stuff a little bit too far, and y'all taking some of this stuff a little too serious for me, gang. Like, relax, just chill. It's just the internet. At the end of the day, it's crazy. But at the end of the day, that's just how this world works, man. The world is just, that's just what it is. Everybody care more about an online persona or or they online life or internet life than they do real life. People care more about social media than they do actual real life. And that's just how this shit work. I am actually dying right now. But yeah, man, that's basically all I got to say, bro. Y'all just chill. Don't take this stuff super serious because at the end of the day, it's never that serious. No way. People is just out here tweaking. People is out here doing crazy stuff and just doing stuff for the views, man. And it's just like... 
I don't know. Like, I want to be a big time YouTuber one day and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I'm not one of them people that's going to be running this bad but trying to crash out. And I don't know. Like, I don't know. I just still look at myself as a normal dude, no matter how rich or big or big of a name that I get in this world. I just can't never see myself just doing goofy shit, bro. Just saying like, oh, so I can get some views so people can watch me and I can stay relevant. That's just me. I don't really be wanting to do all that. I know I'm a yapper and stuff. But at the end of the day, if I can stay as ducked off as I can, then I will And that's just on me man No cap buddy But yeah gang That's pretty much All I got for y'all But y'all let me know How y'all feeling about This whole 200 or 800 million Challenge that Rockstar Got for the community man Is y'all taking part in this Is this something Y'all actually care something about I actually got kicked by this thing Alright let me run Let me run Cause I'm actually getting kicked But yeah Of course do I think We gonna do it Of course we gonna do it We gonna knock this out the park Like this is gonna be One of the challenges We absolutely eviscerate I think we gonna do this Probably around day four I think if we got 200 million in day two, two slash three, I think by day four slash five, we're going to have this done. And we're probably going to end up blowing out possibly over 1 billion zombies throughout this whole entire thing that Rockstar got going on, man. But at the end of the day, y'all let me know how y'all feeling about this down below, man. Is y'all fooling with this challenge? How y'all feel about the GTA community coming together when it matters most? I know I definitely do be happy when it happens, man. Like I said, the GTA community, we a W, man, when it, when it matters the most, man. We can all come together and play together and just reach a common goal and that's one thing i can say can't nobody stop us when we all link up when we all link up this community is in freaking same y'all get on my nerve but i love this community no matter what bro like more than anything on earth i love the gta community i'm glad to be a part of it glad that people rock with me in this community and all that type of stuff man but that's pretty much all i got for y'all gang y'all let me know how y'all feeling about everything down in the comment section down below don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you new i still gotta kill off some of these zombies and yeah gang that's pretty much all I got for y'all. Like I always say, y'all be easy. Y'all take care. And until the next one, gang, I'm going to pop this thing, man. I'm going to see how far I can get into this one. Y'all have a great rest of y'all day, buddy. You don't have to bring me back your heart. Replacing is easy.